All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem 15 to the power of 50 over three to the power of 25. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting this as 15 to the power of 25 plus 25. So we wrote 50 as 25 plus 25 over three to the power of 25. And the reason I did this is because now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 15 to the power of 25 plus 25 is going to equal 15 to the power of 25 times 15 to the power of 25. And I have this over 3 to the power of 25. And now this is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times 15 to the power of 25 over 3 to the power of 25 which is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times 15 over three to the power of 25. And this is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times five to the power of 25. Now another property of exponents is that if I have something from a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So this is gonna equal 15 times five to the power of 25 which is equal to 75 to the power of 25. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And for this problem, I actually have four option choices. So for A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For B, I have nine to the power of 30. For C, I have 27 to the power of 10. And for D, I have three to the power of 21. So to first start out, let's go through all these option choices and see if they're right or not. So we first have a 27 to the power of 30 and how this likely was resulted in was from adding all the bases and adding all the exponents. So we have nine plus nine plus nine to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 27 to the power of 30. And this is actually wrong because this is not the proper way to add exponents. So now going from here, this was likely gotten nine to the power of 30 by keeping the base the same and then adding the exponents. And this again is wrong because this is not the right way to add exponents. Now we have 27 to the power of 10 and this was gone from adding the bases but keeping the exponent the same. And this again is wrong as well. That's not how you add exponents. Now three to the power of 21, which is by process of elimination, the right answer, we're gonna see how they got this. So we first start with nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And I'm gonna factor out nine to the power of 10. So I get nine to the power of 10 times one plus one plus one which is equal to nine to the power of 10 times three. And now this is equal to three squared to the power of 10 times three. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So three to the power of two to the power of 10 is gonna equal three to the power of 20 and I have this times three to the power of one. So I simply just add the exponents. This is equal to three to the power of 21. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like and share this to any of your friends or family members.